What was the NBA thinking? That is a phrase that's been repeated leading up to game day. The Raptors had players enter the league's health and safety protocols related to COVID-19 on a daily basis. Before their flight even took off on Tuesday to go to Chicago, they had seven players sidelined in those protocols. Then, just hours before tip-off was supposed to happen against the Bulls, a player that's now in Chicago is in the league's health and safety protocols. It's been a rough week for the Raptors. The last game they played was on Saturday in Toronto against the Warriors. Then things really started to go downhill. Let's take a look at the events that led to Wednesday's game being postponed. After Saturday's game, we found out that Raptors Delano Banton and Pascal Siakam were placed in the league's protocols. Then the next day on Sunday, they canceled practice out of an abundance of caution and shortly after, the league announced that the Raptors game against Orlando on Monday was canceled. This was because the Magic were dealing with a COVID outbreak on their squad. Monday, the team doesn't practice again and Gary Trent Jr. is added to the league's COVID protocols. Tuesday, still no practice, and four more players are put into COVID protocols. The rest of the team flies to Chicago full of uncertainty. That takes us to Wednesday, just seven hours before tip-off. The league announced that the Brooklyn Nets game versus Portland that was scheduled for Thursday was postponed. That left almost everyone confused on why the Raptors game taking place a whole day ahead wasn't given the same treatment. But within an hour of that announcement, the league officially canceled the Raptors versus Bulls game, adding that OG Ananobi has entered league protocols, leaving the Raptors without the league minimum eight players to play. You know, every day is a new day. You know, we, we get the overnight testing. We look where we are in terms of our rosters and make our decisions. But it, at least, as I said, um, it seems for us that the right and responsible thing to do, taking all the factors into consideration, is to continue to play. That was NBA Commissioner Adam Silver on Tuesday after he said the league had no intention to pause this season with the current COVID issues plaguing the league and the world. The Raptors' next game is scheduled to be on December 26th in Cleveland. Meanwhile, the NHL made it official on Wednesday that none of its players will be eligible to play in the upcoming Winter Olympics in China. The COC issuing a statement saying they understand fans' disappointment of not having NHL players on the roster, but in part, there is an extraordinarily deep talent pool in Canadian hockey. We're excited to rally behind the men's team as it steps on the ice for its first game on February 10th, attempting to win its fourth consecutive medal. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman says he understands fans' disappointment, but says they look forward to having NHL players compete in the 2026 Olympics in Italy. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.